for that. Well, a very noticeable part of downtown Reno disappeared today. But in just one week, the walls outside of the Circus Circus will sport a new artistic look. John Potter was downtown to see the final moments of the city's most captivating murals. Amid a bucket of white paint, a basket of brushes, and an ominous looking paint sprayer, a last look is taken at the little boy known as Tom. Here comes this little boy bursting out of the out of the, the plain white building, so I think I think that's kind of neat. There's Virginia Street's Queen of Hearts, her beautiful face surrounded by roses. Next to her is Yellowbird, who's been watching passerby for a year now. Spread across the wall next to that is Owl Woman. It's jazzy, graffiti-like shapes and eye-popping greens and yellows staring down tourists. And Tom, artist Stephen Sellier, says this is his son looking at you. I took a picture of my son looking at the window and it gave me the inspiration to do that. And this one, uh, well, we'll let you come to your own conclusions here. This whole thing started, the mural project started when two UNR officials were walking by what were blank walls at the time. They thought the walls were too blank and presented their mural idea to Circus Circus. And all of a sudden it became, hey, let's make it public art and let's make it seven different pieces of public art. And then it turned into a competition that changes every year. Queen of Hearts, Yellowbird, Owl Woman, and Tom were only temporary installations. The next mural marathon with new paintings here begins next week. Stefan, who's from France, doesn't feel bad about his son Tom being covered up and replaced. He says it had no message. It was so cute, uh, looking at the window, trying to read. It's not supposed to have some grand message? No. <laughs> <laughs> no the, the, the only message is I love my son, that's all. Even though passerby Harvey Lee sees much more. It says, let me break out of this, this uh, cage that I'm in. Let me, let, make, make me free. They all met their final moments at the end of Daryl's paintbrush and a power paint sprayer. Not artistic, but very efficient, covering the story. John Potter, Channel 2 News.